Hello, so this is a bit of a summary of what I found out doing some video work um, in a local park taking pictures of local birds um, at the uh, Batley Park where I live. So what I'm finding is that autofocus with the 2x extender um, in video mode is reasonably okay. It's very slow, don't get me wrong, but it's usable, it can be used, it's not a big deal. But in pictures, it's almost unusable. It's just far too slow to be used. It, the reason that you're able to use um, f11 um, uh, on this lens in video mode is because the camera, the 90D, is a hybrid APS-C camera, which means it's a bit of both. It's basically part mirrorless and part SLR. So the camera side of it can't really autofocus above f8. So if I put a 2x on this, we're going to be getting f11 and the SLR side of the camera won't be able to take pictures um, at f11. It just won't do it. I, I can see it trying, but it's just far too slow. Um, you can put the 1.4x on here and you do get autofocus at f8. Works fine, don't see any problems there. Um, so, you know, you should be okay with 1.4. Um, but if possible, don't use it, just use a native lens, because on the APS-C um, you really don't want to be using an extender anyway, because your camera acts an, as an extender anyway, because all you do is you times the focal length by 1.6. So this 400mm uh, lens becomes, I think it's 640mm, uh, you don't really need to put an extender on there, but you can put the 1.4 on there if you want to and I think it's 896 millimeters you're getting which is quite a bit, you know, it's more than the Sigma without the teleconverse um, so you're pretty much getting 900 millimeters with the 1.4 and the 1.6 crop factor so um, my summary on this um, is that in regards to photographs don't use an extender you can use the 1.4 uh, pinch and you can even use the 2x if you're just doing video um, and the results are not too bad um, I just found autofocus from 0.98 centimeters to your subject matter um, which was pretty much near infinity uh, it took a very very long time but from infinity to my subject matter it was not too fast but it got there um, and obviously you can always manually focus, I know a lot of people on YouTube say uh, why should you have to manual focus, but you're not really a photographer if you can't use manual focus from time to time um, and there's nothing wrong with moving the uh, manual focus ring and uh, focusing yourself, you know that's part and parcel of being a photographer, he's been able to do that if you can't do that you might as well not bother and just get an automatic camera, you know Anyway, I just want to say that from what I've found that it's, it's reasonably okay, this lens. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Please give us a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm and helps people find these videos. Um, and I'll do another one. Uh, obviously, this is a crop sensor uh, video review um, of video on this lens. But I'm also going to do a full frame one for you guys so you can have a look and see how that turns out. So... I'll see you later, hope this video helped you out and bye bye.